present at the reception last night where the New Guinea's chairman, Sir Frederick Reha, Chief Executive Officer Simon Fu, and the youth with a mission ambassador, Brent Tate, who is in the country as a guest of Trukai. Others were stakeholders from the public and private sector. YWAM spokesperson Anna Scott says, YWAM currently has two base, one in Port Mosby and another in Townsville, Australia. Scott says apart from its crew and volunteers aboard its four vessels, which provide primary health care, eye care and dentistry service during outreach in the country, it also has a ground team in Papua New Guinea. She also adds that the introduction of the flight is a huge win for YWAM as a lot of its volunteers and crew travel between Townsville and Port Mosby. So we estimate that YWAM alone um, will, use the, will send a thousand volunteers on these flights on an annual basis. Um, so, so that includes this ship, um, our other ship, the Pacific Link, that's operating in PNG, and all of our land-based teams as well. So, and New Guinea's board chairman, Sir Frederick Reha, said talks are already underway to see how best and New Guinea can support the YWAM management and its team in its work in bringing healthcare services to Papua New Guineans in the rural areas. I urge our business community to support the work of YWAM just as the Townsville business community does with real generosity. People like Daryl Holmes from 1300 Smiles have set a truly great example for our own business community to follow. Rebecca Passingan, NBC National News, Port Mosby.